Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Detention. So last time we unlocked this new area that's kind of a mix mash of a uh, puppet studio thing, like some stores, a temple, a dungeon. It just has everything you could ever possibly want in it. It's an amazing, amazing place. And it also leads into the school again, so it's like kind of weird and complicated, but it gets the job done. And we have this tape that I'm pretty sure we need to go play in the AV room. And we also unlocked a couple of new monsters, because I've been wanting some new monsters and we're finally getting them. And I think they should still be over here. And I kind of wanted to see, actually run in and get killed by one. Because, like, I didn't think about this before, but we got killed at one point last time. Should, should I turn the light on? <laughs> Sup! I actually want to die by your hand. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was actually going to die by your hand. <laughs> I literally died by her hand. Oh my god. That made me so happy. No, because, yeah, this thing. We died last time we got taken here, but I thought that was like something that was supposed to happen in the game, but apparently this happens whenever you die by one of the creatures. And the old lady that we ran into last time actually says something different for each one. I thought we were going to like get killed by the lantern thing's tongue or something. The lantern specter once roamed as the lingered. It now serves the underworld dutifully. And else you will remain unseen if your face is turned away. Yeah, she gives you tips about like what to do in order to defeat it, but she also it smells your fear. Do remember to hold your breath. <laughs> uh, does fear make our breath smell? Anything else, old lady? I'll wait. What you picking up? I don't know what the deal with this old lady is, but she is. So I collect them all, scavenged from all the pain in the world. She said that before. The road has collapsed and there is no way back. Is that it? The river of life flows, souls perpetually sink and raise. Are you collecting the souls? Is that what she's talking about? The past is a walk in the mist. Don't let the fog, fog blind your eyes. There's a lot of fog here. The young depart as the old follow, leaving us this empty world. Anything else, Miss Lady? I, I, I got all day. Now? Okay, I think she's done. She got some words of wisdom for us, that's for sure, though. I kind of wish I had died by one of the lingered before, but they just kind of clobber you and stuff, don't they? The distressed cries of the weak. When you find yourself powerless, you choose to harm those who are frail. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we still got our thing, though, so that means that we can continue on to the AV club room and... Wait, was it the AV club room? I think it was the AV room that had it because it was like a radio thing that had been set up but yeah we're going to go play some contraband music and rock this spirit world to hell and back I guess I'm not I'm not entirely sure <sighs> but dang that was <laughs> spooky lights don't you just love them <gasps> oh hey you are thing I was not expecting you you were unexpected Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, don't I that smell like a damn thing. Now go kill someone else with your long freaky claw hands. Gouge out somebody else's eyes. Bye! Okay, was this the AV club room? Jim, broadcasting room. Okay, I think this was it. Yes, yes it was. Alright, let's rock this house. Wonder if we'll melt the freaky tree thing. All oh, the spirits trapped inside.
do you have, uh... What were we supposed to do, Ikira? Huh. Do we have any school model and rules? Um, maybe the school anthem? Was that correct? Did we do the right thing? Okay, it keeps repeating the same notes. Oh, 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 for the piano! I forgot about the piano thing. It's been so long. We have that piano in the other room that we need to play. Okay, so we just need to figure out the notes, right? Now, there were two lantern specters before. So we should be extra cautious. Or not. Just run for it. That's good. Still kind of weirded out by this puppet over here. Just, you good? In the middle of the room hangs a birdcage. A puppet lies locked inside. It's got a hood on, and I've never seen this style before. Yep, very strange. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to take this to the puppet theater thing. Okay, so it's these... Alright, well, I need to hear the music. Why can't I hear the music? Do I have to be outside? I'm not musically capable, game. I don't understand notes work. Oh my god, it actually expects me to play this. Alright, uh, give me a moment. <laughs> Okay, there we go. A metal sound comes from somewhere in the room. Alright. <laughs> Fuck you, ghost. I am not here for your damn pleasure, alright? I am not a piano playing person meant to be applauded. Oh, that was not fun. What is wrong with them? Am I just trying to appease them? Well, this is my reward. It's not roses, but it'll do. The cage door is open and says, Puppet, take it out, Ray. Oh! A hand puppet! Wouldn't you know? <laughs> Can I grab its hand? A detached, twisted hand. Fingerprints completely rubbed off. Now that's interesting. Is that to remove identification? And if so, why? Whose hand are you? My god, that's a big-ass hand. Oh. Alright, to the puppet theater. Away! Goodness me. Seriously, though, that's really all those things wanted? They just wanted us to play? I mean, they could've just stepped out into the hall and listened. That's what I was doing for the past 15 minutes. I am not a musically capable person, alright? This game is expecting a lot from me. I think it was this way. Yes, yes, there, puppet theater. Puppet theater, puppet theater, I have something for you. I have this puppet which goes here? No? The scene. Is it trying to remind me of something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's trying to remind you of the way thing. Oh! A pair of mannequin hands. Is set up for a puppet play? The puppet with the hood over its head. The target gives me the feeling of familiarity. Well, can we move it? I feel like we need another puppet. Okay. Unless... Crazy wild thought here. This doesn't do anything. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when a weird, creepy ass deer will come in and pay, so. Well, where else can we get a puppet from? We've been a lot of places already. I feel like we got. Or, well, I was under the impression that we had kind of sorted everything out before. Okay, what, what haven't we messed around with? We have. Okay, we went downstairs to the dungeon. Maybe I have to get a puppet out of one of the other places. 
like the puppet store itself, maybe. I don't know, we're going to have to look around a bit. Alright, what was this? Is this the AV room again? Alright, it is. These were just the tree growing through the wall, blah blah blah. The faces of the lingered in it, um... You're cool now, right? Weird, is it stuck? Can't change tracks anymore. Tape is gone. Okay. So that's not our concern. And that's all sealed up still. Alright, I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find. Give me a moment. Was that like that before? I don't think it was. But I can't be sure. Mel door inside. There might be another way around. Oh, that's where I'm trying to make my way. But you got a lot of farty eyeballs over there, so. I'm not sure if I entirely feel like playing there. I could have sworn there was a lantern ghost around here somewhere. <gasps> yep, there she be. <laughs> come on, come play. I didn't notice that before, but she has kind of a... Like, backtrack of voices going around her. Bye-bye. Peace out. And I can breathe again. Okay, we good? Woo! Alright, well, bye, creepy-ass ghost. Okay, so none of my concern there. Okay, so that other door might lead us to... Oh. Was this open before? I don't feel like we went in here before. These are more talismans. Uh, the windows are covered in protective talismans. Indeed, they are. Phone? Isn't this the phone from the principal's office? Weird. I have to pick up the receiver to dial. Can can we call somebody? Nine. One. One. Oh, yep. Right. We have to actually turn it. Huh? Nine. One. One. Please. No. 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 Okay. So we probably have to actually have a phone number. Oh, operator. There we go. Wait, let me back out again. Here's an idea. Operator. No. Eh, I guess it was a long shot. <laughs> I don't know what like the forward number would be because I know like some places have different it's not 911 to call like, you know, police or aid or whatever. Hmm. All right, let's look on this thing. There's nothing important on this bookshelf. Wait, this kind of looks like... This cabinet looks familiar. There's a key inside. Roof key. Yeah, this looks like the thing. Okay, what else can we see? Nothing important on the bookshelf, but I feel like there should be. Nothing important on the bookshelf. More talismans. Come on, Ray, there has to be something for you. I guess not. It's fine, though. It's cool. Alright, so roof key. Perhaps we can use it to access this barbed wire gate? No? Yes? Maybe? Okay, guess not. Wait. No, it's further down by the Friday eyeballs, right? Yeah, no, it's all just sealed off. Alright. So we're just going to keep going right as we were doing before. Because that seems to have led us to some new stuff. Just want to play it safe. No, no, we're not going in there. Maybe I should look up numbers. What about you, creepy statue? You got anything for us? Feels like I'm being watched. Really, it feels like you're being watched here and not back over there. Right where all the farty eyeballs were. Alright, any other spots for us to walk by? Nope. Okay, how the hell do we find... Oh, roof key. Right, we have to go upstairs, don't we? I don't know, it's been a little bit since I played this, so I can't quite remember if 
there's anything locked up there. Yes, yes, let's go ahead and save. We're so blessed. It's absolutely wonderful. This is still blocked off. Hmm. All right, well, let's just swing our little legs up onto the roof. Hey, Mr. Puppet, you don't happen to know where your brethren might be, right? Because I'm looking for some other ones. I got this weird hooded puppet, but, I mean, I'm looking for another one. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Oh, there we go. Click clack. I guess he's up here. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Mr. Puppet. Did, did wonders for me. Hi, other Ray! Huh! And it's raining paper airplanes yet again. <laughs> um. Hello, me yourself. Oh, just going to. What the fuck? Hey! Films! A bloodstained film. Okay, well, that's better than, you know, the fight to the death I thought we were going to have. Yo, typical Magical Girl anime, you always got that mere fight going on. Is it typical of Magic Girl anime? Like, I feel like I've seen that a couple of times with, like, weird Magic Girl animes. Like, oh, what was the name of that one? I know what happened in Sailor Moon. Was it Ray Earth? Was that the name of the game? There was another... I mean, not game, show. <laughs> there was another anime that had something similar to that. And I feel like I've seen it a couple of times with those types of anime. I mean, I've seen it in other things too, but I don't know if it's just a common theme with that. Whatever, we're going to play some contraband film rather than some stupid announcement crap. Wait, why am I even going this way? I can just go this way. No, I don't need you to hold your breath. It's cool. I wish I could make her run a little faster. That would be nice. Come on, Ray. Just got to awkwardly do your weird step thing. She kind of runs weird, doesn't she? I mean, I know she's like a paper doll, but still. Just just a little off. Anywho, we are going to play some contraband film, just like we were playing some contraband music. I don't know what's so contraband about the piano playing, but, you know, it, it's bad. It's bad for the youth. It'll inspire them. I was expecting, like, some rock and roll or something, but nope, nope. This, this is what's corrupting our youth. Pianos and old-fashioned real old films. I wonder what happens if I just turn off that lamp. I mean, not lamp light. Are you the film room? No, that's the music room. Wait. Then... No... Some... Did I get mixed up somewhere? Oh, it was on that floor right below the roof. Okay, my bad. Sorry. One moment. Alright, it's over here somewhere, isn't it? I was getting all mixed up. Yeah, yeah. Doors closed off by the roots and everything. Come on, ghosties. I know you're around here. Let's go ahead and step out and make life easier for all of us. Nope. Okay, well, fine. I'm going to go play some crazy, um, awesome films. All right, let's see what movies we got here. I wonder what's contained in this film. <laughs> okay, nothing grotesque yet. Let's see what lies on the other side. Lantern ghost, lantern ghost, don't come and bother me right now because I'm going to watch a movie. Okay, well that worked out better than expected. <laughs> don't seem to have any issues with this. Zero to five, eh? Oh wait, one, two, one. Okay, so zero, two, five, one, two, one. All right, fine, that works. All right, we have a phone number to dial out to. Good, good, we have something to try and call. That's wonderful. You would give me five seconds. I am just going to go and look up something and I will meet you guys back over at the weird office thing with the phone. All right, so we are back and I just got through looking up this, which is the, you can't see it, but it's the emergency telephone number for Asian countries. And apparently it is one. Yes, yes, you have to pick up the receiver, my bad. Apparently, it's the opposite in Asia. It's like one, one, and then the nine. Achievement unlocked. What, what made you think that would work? <laughs> oh, 
I was wondering about that. Whatever. Okay, so our thing was, our proper telephone number was 025121, correct? Hello? Anybody there? I tried calling the police multiple times, but it was not great for us. Oh! Miss Fang, your country appreciates your assistance. Yes? Thank you? It's good of you to appreciate me. I appreciate you, my country, I think. What's left is only the dial tone. <gasps> what? What is it? Oh, it's the thingy thing! Oh, it's you! You can't open doors, right? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Is our assistants turning ourselves in? Because I'm pretty sure there's like a cop or something out there. Oh, the talismans must be protecting us. Well, can you see anything? The windows are covered in protective talismans. Yeah, I see that, but I mean, we didn't hear that thing walk away. Whatever, girl, you want to turn yourself in, you can turn your military police puppet. <laughs> it was never anything to be afraid of. It was just the military police puppet. Come to fuck with our minds. Are the farty eyes gone? <gasps> nope, okay, Lenten ghosty again. Come on, lady, I've got all day. I got places to be, puppet shows to put on. Oh, there's a farty eye. <laughs> And our mouth is covered. And you could smell all your way, but there is no fear to be smelled. For I am Ray, and I am ever so brave. Okay, have a good day. You do your ghostly things, I'll do mine. I mean, I'm not a ghost. I'm just a little, I'm a little girl, but still. Come on. Bye-bye, party eyes. I'll see you in a bit, hopefully. If I can find my way around to where you are. Any other ghosties? Any other lantern ghosts looking for me? Really? They're just kind of leaving me alone. Like, there's one, you know, every once in a while. But for the most part, I feel like they've just been kind of chill. Is it because I died? Does it make it easier if I die? I didn't mean to. I was just trying to see what would happen. <laughs> Alright, finally. A puppet show. So maybe this will give us some answers. Voila! Oh! Hey! Okay! <laughs> A key fell out of the puppet's body. Thank you! We got the basement key! Wait, what was locked in the basement? Visceral scene. It's... what is what's coming out, blood? Why am I being shown this violent scene? So, it turned and it shot. It shot the person's head off who was hanging and also shot the hooded figure? Or did the hooded thing- or did the hanging thing just fall down? That was like a really quick movement. <laughs> Interesting. So we're being shown executions now. Is that what we're going to find in the basement then? On the scene of an execution? All nice and laid out for us? We have enough time. We have enough time for that. Let's go- save real quick and then see what's in the basement waiting for us, shall we? And then we're going to have to end the episode. Most unfortunately. Hmm. I'm actually starting to wonder if maybe this is an altar for praying. Save progress. Yay, yeah, we're super blessed. Like... I'm kind of starting to wonder now if maybe, like, Ray could have been involved in the military police? Like, I'm thinking maybe she was rebel or something, but that phone call just then, like, you know, your country thanks you for your assistance. Uh, I can't remember if I trust you or not. No, that's right. I took the thing off your back. I wouldn't plank. Do I unlock you? Do you need some unlockings? 
this isn't doing anything. Okay, sorry, can't help you. But I'll I'll do my best for whoever I can help, I guess. No, I wasn't looking at this, I promise. Okay, there's the creepy door that the ghosty egg like popped out of. I mean he didn't do anything, but still. Come on, basement key. Oh, you unlock this. I keep on forgetting about these doors. Was this even here? This door's been unlocked. It's just like blanked from my memory. A lot of those bugs again. Are we gonna be running from the crazy thing? I mean, we already have his puppet, but is that like a telling sign? A lot of desks. <gasps> hey, it's a flashback to Wei and Ray. Wei, thanks for doing this for me. Not at all. I'm always willing to help if you ask. Though, I'm sorry to have to drag you all the way here to my classroom. It's okay. My classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You're sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? What? Of course, miss. Absolutely not. One thing, though. The book list is quite sensitive in material. Please be careful with it. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books could be trouble, but it should be our freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Okay, so she was a rebel. Yeah, I'm with you on that. But her and Wei knew each other then? In fact, I think Miss Yen also said something like this, like that before. I think you're just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You think we're alike? I can't compare to her anyways. She's the principal's daughter and they're known to be the family of be a family of successful scholars. It's okay, I believe she thinks highly of you. I remember she gave you, uh, gave your work a nice compliment once. She said, strengthen thy wings, the sky's the limit. She really said something like that. Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Miss Yin and Mr. Chang chat a lot. Do you maybe know what kind of relationship they have? So, right? You want to talk about that? No? You're just going to chill in silent? Okay. I thought you guys didn't know each other, but a paper bag left behind by way. Book club reading list is a gun! <laughs> I, I've been weak, but you once told me the pen is mightier than the gun. Can I shoot shit? With proper use, I could use this unassuming list to practically destroy those in my way. <laughs> Can I just shoot ghosts now? Is that what we're about? Okay! <laughs> Oh, thank you, Way. We're just walking now. Just chill walk. Oh, this music. It's like a sad, slightly hopeful piano. Are we getting to the end game? We have a gun now to shoot shit. Wow, these are a lot of mirrors. I don't tend to like mirrors, seeing what happened last time and all. Hi! Who... are... That's a... Oh, Miss Yen? What are you doing here? As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious, but that's a man in the reflection. Remember what you did? What? Have you forgotten, or do you not want to remember? You... Just a harmless piece of paper, right? And said I had to die, he had to die, and many other students had to die. Oh, so she did. Was it you? You just kept causing me trouble, you're driving me crazy! Sometimes, when you trip up, you never, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you! This is all because of you! You ruined everything! If you had a problem, why couldn't you have come talk to me instead? Shut up! If you were gone, none of this would have happened- Oh. Uh. Is 
Okay. If you weren't here, all would be well. Wow, Ray. I am having some thoughts here. Let's see if we can get to a save point before I have to speed them all. Or are we at the end of the game? We might be at the end of the game. Okay, so before we venture forth into the fog that the old lady was telling us about, um, I'm thinking that Ray turned the book club in. And I don't know what her beef with Miss Yin was, but between the phone call and that and stuff, I'm pretty sure the gun was symbolizing, was it like actually a symbol? I don't think it was actually, you know, a gun and stuff. I think like, since it was a gun labeled the book club, I'm thinking that she must have given the list over to the director guy. Was it Bai Bay? And, like, because we, like, right at the beginning we saw, you know, Miss Yen being let out of the room and everything. And I'm thinking that she turned it in and Miss Yen ended up getting executed. And possibly a couple of other students. And I'm thinking maybe Wei as well, seeing as he's kind of dead. And everything. And he was the one who gave us the list in the first place. Oh ho Now this is fucking cool. <laughs> Justice Cheng Huang. Mom likes to bring all her worries and concerns to you. Something I think is fruitless, but sometimes there's no one else to look to for help. My hands together in a silent prayer, here are my questions. I, Feng Rei Shen, invoke your guidance. Ask about love, ask about prospects, ask about family? Well, let's just go in order. Ask about love. Will I be able to live a simple life with loved ones and family? Yin Po, the crying answer. So, no? Do not seek what cannot be. Ah, this was just a humble request. You can be so cruel. So she can't be loved? I, I, I'm, yeah, this is making me think more. Um, then I also ask about my prospects, because other people have probably found out that she turned them in, right? She would probably be very much hated. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? Yang Po, the laughing answer. So I can only face reality obediently. And wait until God knows when. Do I have any other choices? I also ask about family. <sighs> Will my parents who quarrel and fight have a second chance together? Said the laughing answer again. Yeah, just keep on laughing in my face, Yang Po. It's cool. You cannot cry over spilt milk, is that so? But that was my family. My mom, that person. We used to smile and laugh together. Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? Or is it all just me? Is it the crying one again? Nope, divine answer. So, it is because of me. You've made your life what it is, Ray? Is that what he's trying to tell you? Well, thank you for your guidance, Yang Po. Um... Youth is hardly ever given a choice. Push through the grind until their innocence fades away. I've become a wooden horse on the carousel of life. I jumbled a jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. Still walking. Yep, this is definitely feeling like endgame here. What is whispering for us, though? Oh wait, there's a radio. First. <gasps> Ooh, should I... Okay, a radio. Seems like the static in the room is coming from this. Maybe I can get something if I tune it a bit.
Hmm. Couple of songs here. Well, I like the first one better. <laughs> there it is. The atmosphere in the room's changed. Neat! Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Then we actually have more to go over, so we can end the episode here. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, static, static, static. We do love our static. Okay, so we're going to end the episode here for now. An altar for praying. Save our progress? Why, well, yes, yes, we will. And we feel super blessed. Okay. So, yeah, I'm definitely starting to think that she had to have betrayed people and stuff, but she's made her- I'm thinking that she's kind of made her own mess and now she has to sit in it kind of thing is what the- that whole meeting at the altar was about just then. Because it was telling her that it was, you know, her fault and that the reason her prospects look like that is because of her. And so, I mean, damn, super serious bomb to drop on a kid, but I guess, you know, you gotta grow up at some point, so, you know. Shit on you, Ray. But my question is, why the hell would she do that? Why would she... throw them all under the bus? And stuff, because, like, Wei seemed awesome. And stuff, and he seemed to like Miss Yen. It didn't seem like Miss Yen was one of the bad ones, so why did Ray do what she did? <sighs> and how did we get here? I'm trying to figure out if we're alive or dead now, because this is clearly like a spirit world and everything, and it seems like she's being faced with like the consequences of her actions, so maybe like this is her own personal hell or something that she's dealing with at the moment? I can't be sure. Because there's a lot of themes about like religion and owning up here in this episode, so... I'm not sure. But we're going to have to see in the future, see where the radio will take us. And until then, like and subscribe if you guys want to. And thank you for watching.